The circuit has rubbered in with practice, but this is still a difficult session as our drivers fight for pole position. Welcome to qualifying for the French Grand Prix. Welcome to the circuit, Paul Ricard. Uh, this circuit is brand new in this game. Uh, they introduced it again this year for the first time since a long time. Uh, a very long time. Like some multiple decades. Uh, and it's a fairly nice track. It's yeah, really power driven. Uh, it's a flat track. There's not a whole lot of elevation. As you can see, you know, you can kind of like just drive across the track if you really wanted to. Uh, the blue lines on the outside are uh, painting instead of having gravel, uh, which is cool. Uh, so, you know, the painting on the outside slows you down. Uh, but just looking through the track here, it's got a little twisty loop there in the end, and it's got this nice section. There are, I think, 256 different layouts to this track, uh, and we're wait, uh, racing on one of them. Uh, so, in every turn, you'll pretty much see other turn options, so it's not easy to remember where you have to turn if you do not have your uh, line on, but I do have it for the corners anyway, first time on this track. Uh, so this is kind of a Japan-like section. The way I'm going to take that corner is I'm going to whip it into the first uh, little area, so then I kind of go to the outside so I get a good exit. That's not what the uh, AI like to do. Uh, but then towards the end here, we get a little tight section. Uh, a lot of these corners are like, they're short, but they're long sweeping, if that makes any sense uh, whatsoever. And then we finish out on a straight here. So we get a P2, but I... I don't know, it's like effective, like, I don't know, we moved on to Q2, uh, that's all I'll say here. So showing the, uh, in the lap here on Q2, it's a fairly decent lap, uh, I'm not so sure, like, you know, we're 10 seconds into the line to beat out Bottas here, that's not gonna happen anyway. Uh, remember, we did get our new engine app, uh, last episode, uh, but the MGUK, or the MGUH is really, really bad, uh, so we do have to worry about that, so... Uh, this part was just bad quality, so I'm not going to show too much of it, but it's the ending of the Q3 lap. Uh, unfortunately, I do not know what happens to the quality of some of these clips. I, I really don't, like, it does not make sense. This game's in 4K, yet some, when it records, sometimes it just gets these moments where it's like, this is like 180p, and uh, I really just don't understand it, but I just... Uh, you guys can just skip this part if you want, but I just wanted to show you the uh, ending in the Q3 lap. I can't even see what place I'm in at this point, that's how bad it is. Uh, so yeah, just skip this part if you really want to, I don't really care. And just continuing on here. Almost done with the lap. Can we get better than P10? It's going to be close. It really is. And we are going to get better than P10 it looks like. Yes, we are. So. P7. Welcome to Le Castellet as we return from across the Atlantic for the 2018 French Grand Prix. The last time Formula One cars raced at the circuit Paul Ricard, Alain Prost took Ferrari's 100th Grand Prix victory and the 42nd of his own illustrious career. That was 28 years ago when half of the drivers on the grid today had yet to be born. And how I wonder will that legacy continue in the modern era? The circuit Paul Ricard then, a 3.6 mile track, 25 miles east of Marseille. 15 corners here, 6 to the left and 9 to the right, with the main overtaking chance expected going into turn 8. Top speeds today should be around 205 miles. So yeah, uh, looking at the track there, so we're going to see what kind of start we can get here. There's a decent start. Although, uh, the other car is getting a little bit better start here, which is unfortunate. Uh, let's try to keep our spot that signs the outside. I'm going to go to the inside here, get the move done on Verstappen and across Ricardo. Unfortunately, there I overtook uh, Kimi Raikkonen off the track, which you'll see here to show you a little replay. Uh, as you see, though, I overtook Kimi Raikkonen across the track, so I did uh, go ahead, or I will be giving that position back eventually. I just don't want to waste any time currently right now. I'm going to give it back to him on the straight, though. Let's see here, I just let off a little bit, he's going to pass me anyway. Uh, and once he gets passed, I can now attack, so I'm going to be attacking coming into this corner, but i got to be careful, Ricardo's on the outside, I'm going to try to late break, but I can't late break too much, and Raikkonen actually locks up, so he gets uh, passed by Daniel Ricardo as well, although they're battling it out there 
which gives me a little bit of free space, uh, which is nice. Going on the lap four here, some guys, as you see, the Mercedes, the Ferrari, they have dove into the pits. I will, uh, I I'll be reacting to that, and I'm going to head into the pits too as well. It's such a weird pit lane. The bad thing about this pit lane is that it comes, it makes a weird noise too, but it comes out on the apex of the corner, as you could see. Verstappen, or I don't know what, like when we just come out at the same time, when guys are on that straight, people come out of the pit road, so it's just really bad. I had to rewind it because uh, I actually ended up destroying Verstappen's car the first time. Uh, so, uh, yeah. Uh, Verstappen gonna go around stroll here. The Williams drivers are kind of slowing us up right now, but that's kind of good for me because Verstappen's the guy in front of me. He's gonna get around them first, and then they kind of leave the space open for me, which is nice. Uh, but Verstappen here, they they don't have the engine, but they do have the, like, our engine's slightly better. But they do have the drag, they do have the aerodynamics for the long sweeping corners. As you'll see, we'll catch up on the straights, not too much, because the Honda versus Renault, I mean, yeah. But, we catch up a little bit on the straights, uh, but they have the best chassis, so, and the best aerodynamics. So anything besides the straight, we do not catch up on currently in P8 few laps later, we're getting really close to Verstappen. Tire wear is a lot better on their car too. I have raced for the Red Bulls in the past. In fact, I'm hoping to get promoted to Red Bull uh, sometime throughout this career mode. That's why we're starting in the junior team. Uh, DRS again here. We're kind of just, every lap, are managing the fuel of the ERS just so we can get to the straight with DRS. And every time, I mean, I get so close, but then it gets that final sector, and he's like a whole second quicker because of aerodynamics and their chassis. I mean, that's where a lot, a lot of the sweeping corners are, a lot of the tight turns are. Like their car is so good at like these little turns here. Uh, as you see, like how far he is now, like they just make up so much time. But then on the straights, I get him back. Uh, so end of the lap, though, Valtteri Bottas is gonna take the race win. And yeah, we kind of slowed down here. I didn't want to burn out the MGUH any more than I had to be because I do plan on using it still, even though it is almost worn down. So we only get two of those. And yeah, so P7, best of the rest. I'll take it. It's good points. So yeah, good points for us in the Paul Ricard circuit. Balatas with the win. Hamilton in second. After Good job for Bottas, he never gets the uh, credit over Lewis Hamilton, but he could be a championship contender, we never know. Vettel, the guy who gets third here. Good job for Mercedes. Red Bull were leading the championships, or the Constructors' Championship, but probably not anymore. Uh, so yeah, Mercedes, Ferrari, and then Red Bull, and Pierre Gasly got ninth too, so the Toro Russos were very good here. And uh, you look at that, like, Hamilton's up there, but then Bottas, Vettel, they're right there. Same with Verstappen, maybe not Raikkonen, but yeah, Gasly moves into the P13 as well on the standings, so that's pretty good. Uh, we're actually going to go ahead and make a new contract here, and we're going to go ahead and get this one, so right. just a little bit of help with, you know, getting more resor uh, resource points. The we're the first driver now. Better pit stops, better upgrade speed. That's all nice stuff, too.